suppose this is A A is being produced by hydrogenation of ethene now I have given you this very easily otherwise I could have uh, not given you ethene I uh, just I would have I could have given you a hint to find ethene and chain of reactions in order to find this ethene but just to keep things simple initially I have given you ethene so to find A is as easy as candy but somehow you ha you get you got A and you can also get A from B if you add magnesium first and in the second step you add water now B gives you C B gives you C when first you add lithium second you add copper and third you add one bromo propane so what you have to do is you have to find out what are ABC now there will be various side products as well now ABC are all organic products I am not concerned with the inorganic products which are formed in the reaction those are the major organic products ABC so you take your time you sit back recapitulate the reactions regurgitate them revise them practice them solve it and then proceed before you see the reaction you must try 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 this problem out otherwise uh, this thing will not help you now to solve the problem it is it's a very simple easy trivial problem ethene is given this reaction is hydrogenation we have seen this a moment before when you ha when you hydrogenate ethene you'll get a now i haven't shown you the mechanism because i i took it for granted that you know how it is done so when you when you add hydrogen on ethene and ethene is a two carbon alkene so when you add a hydrogen hydrogen would be added both one on each carbon that will give you a alkene so A will turn out to be ethane now look how you are getting ethane you are getting ethane from B on adding magnesium and then water now what could be B what could be B what could be B think about it what could be B you are adding magnesium now B intuitively if you see the reaction that we have studied up till now B can be a alkyl halide because a magnesium will show a reaction with alkyl halide and subsequently if we add water then before starting this problem I have told you when you have a alkyl halide you add magnesium you will get a Grignard reagent R M G X fine now this Grignard reagent will remain as it is because R- is in a complex form so R- is not unstable so it will not search for anything in the system for its reaction so when we prepare Grignard reagent the solvent is ether and ether you don't have a active hydrogen so the reaction doesn't proceed with R- so the R- derives its stability from this complex form if I add water into it then water will bring a lot of active hydrogen along with it and these active hydrogen hydrogen having plus charge partial plus charge are dying to get electron and this R- is dying to give electron so both will cooperate and there will be a give and take so this R- will quickly on reaction give RH that so Grignard reagent as such cannot be stored in open or in presence of moisture it has to be kept away from moisture otherwise S plus will react with this R- minus and will give us RH so this reaction is something that might be happening here because the final product is alkene and you have a Grignard reagent and water so you have to start guessing you have to start making your mind intuitively feel what must be happening in the reaction because if you don't start rubbing yourself from now then the reaction will pile up and it will become a burden the thing subject will start to be more and more elusive for you so I have given you reactions and I am also giving you problems and these problems will help you to understand those reactions and that will help you to memorize those reactions 
otherwise you can't memorize those reactions as such these conversion problems are the only way out to memorize those reactions so break your head over these problems and then ultimately things will become trivial one day so B, B number of carbon won't change right so the B must be having two carbon so B must be a alkyl halide of two carbon so B can be a haloethane it can be bromoethane, iodoethane, chloroethane we are not having a reservation about that but in general it shouldn't be fluorine because reaction with fluorine doesn't happen because F- is not a stable very stable anion HF is a weak acid because F- is not stable it's not very stable so the leaving tendency of F- is less so the reaction is slow so we don't take F it can be chlorine, bromine or iodine so in, in general it can be any haloethane chloroethane, bromoethane or iodoethane so B is a haloethane now look at the reagent and try to guess what is the reaction between B and to C from B to C looking at the reagent I can see there is lithium added first and then copper is added now lithium and copper is going to give you Gilman's reagent so by adding lithium and copper you are getting Gilman's reagent because you know B is a haloethane so when you add lithium this X- minus will move out so you will have ethyl anion and lithium cation club like this R L I and when you add copper this will become R2 C U L I now this is Gilman's reagent this R2 is the thyl anion this R is the thyl here right so this Gilman's reagent is prepared by adding lithium and copper and then you are adding one bromopropane so next would be a SN2 reaction so you have a ethyl anion and you are adding one bromopropane so what will happen is the antibonding of this carbon the electron will go to the antibonding of the atom that is bonded with a living group now this atom is bonded with a living group so electron will go to the antibonding of this carbon because when this carbon starts to gain electron it has to lose electron so when this carbon loses electron that electron goes to the anti bonding or vital of a living group now this carbon also has an anti-bonding but the electron will have not cannot go to the anti-bonding of this carbon because when electron start to comes to this carbon anti-bonding then this carbon has to lose electron from bonding now when this carbon loses electron the electron goes to the bonding of carbon and carbon cannot take the electron so electrons will go to anti-bonding of this carbon because when this carbon loses electron it will go to the bonding of bromine and bromine can very well take electron so what will happen is this Br1 will come out and this carbon and this carbon will form a bond so you will get a propane so C would be a normal sorry pentane so C will be a normal pentane that's how you will get it so as we study more reactions for, ev from for every 2-3 reactions I will give you a problem and then you solve that problem and then you will master those reactions right so preparation as such is over for alkene we are switching over to reactions of alkene